it's the most beautiful me. Let me tell y'all something about this wig, okay? I don't do straight hair. Like, I haven't done straight hair in a long time, since my birthday. That was a flop, because that was on my part. But, um, <laughs> this wig, this silky straight wig, 20, 20, 20 something inches, it's, it's, and it looked like something, okay? And it looked like something. Is brought to you in part by Rose Beauty Wigs. Follow my sis right here. Boom. Follow her right here. She's bomb. Quality hair. Quality wig construction. Quality everything. It's top tier. Nothing less. Tell her I sent you. Use my code. Wait, I don't have a code. But tell her I sent you. Simple. I just thought I'd plug it real quick. Shout out to Yum Skeezy on the hoodie. It's hoodie season. It's about that season. Tour life, you get me. So all the plugs I got. <laughs> Let me go ahead and get the video started. So, hey y'all, it's your girl today. V. Welcome back to my channel. Yours truly on Sadie Vlogs. Wow, 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 wow. I'm happy. Like, I'm happy because I sat down, new setting, trying different angles in my room. I think I like this one the best because I'm comfortable with it. Today, I sat down and I said, after this long day, I was like, oh. I got Zoom fatigue, this Zoom University 0 out of 10 would not recommend. I'm not recording no videos tonight, I'm tired. I'm gonna eat my dinner and go to sleep. But after dinner, I took some thought, went back to my room, changed the positions a little bit, got my light ready, got my iPad set up. I never recorded my iPad, this is first. And I was like, okay. I got to record and press and record, I was feeling myself. I was feeling good, I was feeling better, and then my message just came out of nowhere. It's a spark that came out of nowhere. And I think it was just like two days for a while. I just sit down and enjoy yourself and make music real quick. I'm Michelle so much. For all y'all that watch my videos, all my subscribers, all my followers, I've missed y'all dearly. I'm being in front of the camera, it makes me happy. Just see my books. It's good. But I'm back with my pillow. Let me show y'all my pillow. Follow your girl. You see it. You see it. You see it. Shout out to my mentor. Might as well show her too. Boom, she put us on the pillow like, who you know? Who you know? Oh, wait. <laughs> but anyway, um, today I asked my close friends on my Insta what my next video should be about. And they told me I should be a little messy because I'm not messy. I don't cause trouble. I'm, I'm a good, good spirit, kind hearted person. But I'm a little shady bee. I will say it. I'm honest, truthful. I'm a little shady. Who isn't? We all have it in us, you know. So I thought I'd read my tweets, my drafts. The tweets be good, right? Follow me on Twitter. But the tweets be good, right? But the drafts, that's where the real that's where the real stuff is. So I have my phone here. I'm gonna go on my Twitter, go on my drafts. I read some quarantine tweets. That's that's what it's giving. It's giving quarantine tweets, quarantine drafts. We're gonna read the things that TAB did not feel the need or was too shy or too quiet or too shady to press tweet on. And I'm just gonna unpack them because you know sometimes you tweet and you kind of have to ask the person like, wait, what, is this, what are you trying to say? Like, what, are you, what does this mean? So we're gonna unpack my inner thoughts with my Twitter drafts. <laughs> so this should be interesting. This is your first time watching. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to my face. There's I. Make sure you comment what you liked. Make sure you like the video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn your post notifications on because I will be back. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna keep it 100 with y'all. I might not be back next week. I might not be back in the next two weeks. I might be back in the next week. I might be back in the next two weeks. We're gonna see. The more content ideas y'all give me and the more energy and stamina I just find to build up, that's what we're gonna produce. So we're gonna go on the Twitter. Uh, pull up these tweets. I'm gonna go on the Twitter, pull up these tweets. Follow me on Twitter if you want to. Oh, the camera's on. Okay, follow me on Twitter. Yeah, do that. Do that. So, one more tweet. Boom. We're gonna click on drafts. And so it begins. I'm nervous and excited because I haven't read through them. So, we're gonna start. To anyone who's ever left me in this life, you're lost. Invisible ink. It's the honeymoon phase for me. <laughs> I am bad. I am bad. Um, how do I even begin with this one? It's the honeymoon phase. 
And funny enough, my next tweet is LMFAO son, my drafts, because I already know how funny I am. <laughs> Woo, TAB, you are funny, sis. Pizza dan fanta. Mm -mm -mm. But anyway. Small boys and those that be forming guy. Exit stage left, please. Full stop. It's the ghosting from grown men for me. I drop tweets a lot about men. That just says a lot about y'all as as men. They don't say nothing about me. It's like ghosting from grown men. Yeah, I don't the concept of ghosting, let's free it. Maybe, please. I don't get it. Like, we're grown, let's communicate. Just say, hey, I've been busy, or hey, not really feeling this no more. Hey, I'm seeing someone else. Hey, I've been away, taking a break, mental health. Just, just talk. Use your chest. Say it with your chest, bro. Say it with your chest. Open your mouth. Don't be embarrassing. Open your mouth. Speak up. But yeah, let's free go sing. Let's leave it. Things we need to leave in 2020, ghosting. Add to the bin, add to cart. Ship along. Ooh, TV, tweet. LOL, it be your own man. It's give and pick and choose. The switch up is not giving that boo. Be your own man. People that say they're your man will be your own man for sure. Give me an answer. It's give and pick and choose. The switch up is not giving that boo. That was a messy tweet. I couldn't do it. The switch up. Don't say you're my man's and then switch up on me. It's not giving that. That's basically what I was saying. I won't go into depth about you know, certain things. But if you if you know, you know. If you know. <laughs> Ooh, I'm messy. There's always that one person who saves my Instagram posts. I beg, just show face. I'm curious. I'm flattered. I mean, yeah, I think I was looking at my insights and I just like click on the little banner thingy and it all says like one or three or two. And I'm just like, this is one person saying my stuff. Like, you got me in a photo. I mean, I know I look good, but homeboy said he needs to catch up and be on my level. Moral of the story, come correct when you talk to me. If not, get yourself together and try again. That was a short story in this video. I was not tweeting that. <laughs> Just if we're being honest. One boy said he needs to catch up with me on level. So basically somebody texted me, right? <laughs> somebody texted me. Out of nowhere. Out of like four plus weeks later, they texted me. And I was just like, oh, welcome back. Happy New Year, you know? Where you been? And he was just like, I need to catch up with you on your level. I said, oh. What? Well, what up? I mean, if you put it like that, I mean, uh, you said it, I mean. You know, you said it on me. So I think that just goes to show. Come correct me, talk to me, or don't talk to me at all. That goes for everybody. But yeah, if not, if you're not correct, just get yourself together, reflect, try again. You can always stop by and say hello. I won't, I won't be rude. I might look at you sideways, but just try again. And that's what he did. He tried again. He said he needs to. He said he needs to catch up and be on my level. Ah, wow. What's a wow? Can't handle the heat say out the kitchen child. That's what I gotta say. I hate people that act like they know slash are better. Oh. That you wanna know what grinds my gears? That. Like, I remember I was on Twitter and everyone was tweeting about something similar, and that one person just wants to go out of their way, shine their shine. While we appreciate and respect your opinion, it's like you don't have to do show up. Like, it's not my force. You don't have to do, oh, my opinion is different. I want to let everybody know it. It's a safe space. It's a free space. Do what you want with your social media. But, like, when you give off that energy, it's just like, oh, I'm better than you. Or, like, who are you to me? It's kind of just like, don't do that. I can read it. I'm a reader. That's one thing about me. I can read. Well, yeah, I can read. But, like, I, I be reading people. That's why I don't wish for the superpower of my reading because I have a good read on people <laughs> that's just me but like yeah don't don't do that my thing is how would your girlfriend fit Never mind. there goes CDP producing again I told y'all these tweets is a little messy it's a little a little shady shady B I told y'all should I unpack this one 
So basically, long story short, somebody has a girlfriend and they like was all for my pictures. And I was just like, my thing is, how would your girlfriend feel if she, if she knew you was all for my photo? If she knew you was giving me hard ass. I mean, emojis are just emojis. They're not that deep, but it's just like, when you really unpack it, given the history that was the context and the history and the relationship between me and that person, it's just like, you shouldn't be doing that. <laughs> if you know it's good for you, you shouldn't be doing that. Don't be messy. So, you know, them, it was one of them tweets. I was like, can't tweet that. Don't double back today. I don't know what I cried myself up. But, I mean, that's pretty self-explanatory. That goes for everybody. Don't double back, y'all. Don't do it. I know, I was just thinking about it. Now you F around, guess what? I did it. Don't be that girl. Don't be that guy. Don't be that person. No double backing. Behave yourself. It's not good for you. It's never good. Double backing is never good. There's never good. There's never good that comes out of it. Eight times out of ten. But I'm not gonna talk about the other two out of ten because that's not my business. <laughs> but yeah. I really be thinking slash second guessing myself like damn, do I know how to carry a conversation with someone new without being annoying? Oh <laughs> well, why is this my life? I, I, I second guess myself a lot, I will say. Um, I was texting somebody new, obviously. And I just felt like the conversation was just, it wasn't dragging, but like, it was having moments where it was just kind of like, hey, hey, what you doing? Nothing, what you doing? How you doing? Like, it's just, it was just that very back and forth. And I'm just like, I don't, like, I can't, I be carrying conversations. Like, I'll come up with a random topic and just talk to you. Or I'll ask you to unpack about something that you mentioned. But sometimes, in that moment, I was just like, I feel really annoying right now. Do I stop texting? I didn't stop texting. But, um, I just be overthinking things sometimes. That's just the areas of me. And, um, that's, it is what it is. You ever be so embarrassed by your text you delete the thread? Yeah. It's me. That's the tweet. I'm gonna shut up on that one. <laughs> I think that's the end of my tweet. So we're gonna wrap it up. But thanks y'all for watching. I hope you enjoyed me being messy slash weird slash shady slash relatable, maybe perhaps. But um those are my drafts, my quarantine drafts that were never tweeted. <laughs> But yeah, hopefully you enjoyed. Let me know what else you want to see from this truly. I want to vlog, 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 but quarantine team team is keeping us locked down. Locked down, locked down. So we'll see where I go next. We'll see what I do next. Um, let me know if y'all like this view, this scenery, this setting. I've always loved my um, globe watercolor background. But I got different angles in my room and I never, I've, I've never sat in this chair since I did my room renovation in the last video I did that was on my bed that wasn't really comfortable for you to do but I feel like here I'm really cozy gets you the green ring gets you the palm trees I got my QAP pillow I got my chair I can just sit relax and have a good time so let me know which background you like the best too that'd be helpful because I think this is this is home it's giving very home and cozy but yeah, that's all I got for today. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, turn your post notifications on, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram, follow me on everything. Stay tuned for the next video. Signing off, T-Baby. Mm -hmm.